Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for sharing your every and thank every single person for sharing their poetry. It's been <laughs> such a, a pleasant treat. And I also want to say, I happen to see Louise, you turned your camera. I don't get just deer walking out. Well, I'm in Austin, so why would I expect deer to be just roaming around in my yard? But that was awesome. I saw that, and I want to acknowledge that. You shared that, and I'm like, I saw that, and I didn't want to go Did screaming. Did you know that John has a deer named uh, Julia? Yeah, Julia. No. And she's bringing her, her baby now. I take pictures of her out in the front. Wow. I feed oh. them. Oh. And raccoons and groundhogs and anyone else who wants to come to me. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's absolutely wonderful, and it was beautiful to share that shot, and I just wanted to say, yay, yeah. thank you for sharing that. I, I couldn't resist. And no, that was she perfect. Was right there, she right was right there. Her. It was perfect. Um, but I was going to close this out by sharing uh, three poems from an issue collection book. I am not reading from both of them, but I'm going to show the one I'm not reading from first. CC&D, the... Uh, May through August 2021 issues is in a book that is titled What If? And that is a title of a piece of writing within it. This is a collage of snapshots of videos from stills of the immersive Van Gogh show. As it was just moving around on floors and walls and stuff and just a bunch of them together. That's what the cover of this is. I'm not going to share anything with this one for you, but I want to show it off because Donna the other, the other magazine I run um, has an issue collection book that I'm going to share three poems from. The book is titled, based on another accepted piece of writing, Lockdown's Over. I have to try to show it so that you can actually see it. It's a statue. Actually, that's Ava Perone trying to jump out of a statue like you're escaping. It's just kind of, it's hard to see. But you can always check it out at Scars.tv or Scars.tv slash dirt since it's not the dirt magazine. Blah, blah, blah. Um, issue collection books, I hear they make great gifts because they're cheaper than buying all the individual issues. But anywho, I was going to share with you three poems from this, randomly picked out for you. Um, but they're actually, I picked ones that are related to June dates that are in this. And this first one was written on the 20th of June for New Identity Day. I have not shared this one. This one is titled, Uphill Battles Lead to Changing It Up. There are times in life when you wish the uphill battle didn't seem so steep. You see people, smi people smiling faces on all social media and that's what you want. How is everyone else so put together with their happiness and their different life? But what you don't get is that at the drop of a hat, at a moment's notice, you can make the decision to change things up a little. Mm, use an accent, wear a wig, or change what you wear, and your personality will follow suit. And what do you know? For a minute, for a day, you can have a whole new identity altogether. People throughout history have been doing amazing things after they looked at who they were and decided to change their persona. So, if you think everyone has it so good, then change it up, even for only a day, and see what can happen for you. Identity day. <laughs> Anywho, so that was one for you. These are all strange. for everything. Yeah, there's, and I was searching for them to try to come up with things for everything. And this one, aha, this one is titled Voice and Word. It was written on the June 25th, which happens to be the calendar day of George Michael's birth. But it also happens to be the calendar day that Michael Jackson died. They're both on the same day. I mean, not... You know, they weren't born and died, on, but you get the idea. <laughs> Anywho, <Yeah. laughs> June 25th is day, and this is for those two things. It's titled Voice and Word. I always thought I knew what I wanted. When you're young, you get this image in your head of being adored by everyone. And even if I was too young to know my talent, this desire took over my soul. And now, everywhere I go, I can take the stage and astonish anyone with all the notes I hit and all the words I speak. And after a set, people would tell me that I reminded them of Janis Joplin. And people come to me to tell me that my words changed their actions and changed their lives. I had done it. People loved listening to the sound of my voice. I had made a difference. I had made a difference in people's lives, so I don't know why I now feel like nothing is ever enough. 
After a few life-rattling, life-threatening events in my life, I could not shake the pain. So I try to use this pain to share with my in my work, and the masses appreciate it, but I think in the end they were all just tired of the sob stories and wanted to only be entertained. Are you crazy? So, you tell me I have... I don't know how you're sitting over there. I don't, I don't know how you're sitting over there. Who is talking? Are you okay? Oh. Do you need some water? Oh, no. I've, I've got some. <laughs> okay, it's checking on you. i got to go back and play it tomorrow. Uh, I'm glad when this stuff's over. I'll, I'll finish this then. Sorry. You tell me I have talent, and I do, but I am not your plaything, and I do not want to be a corporate puppet. So let me have my respite from hunters who want to turn my talent into nothing. And after I'm gone, try to remember my voice, my words. It's weird to try to come up with something on, based on those two different lives in there. So anywho, but now I've figured I'd try to get something a little bit happier and shorter for the end piece. This one is titled Your Essence, and it was written on the 30th of June. That was on and for Asteroid Day. Asteroid Day. Here's a piece called Your Essence. Your love is like nothing I've ever known. When you start to come near me, your love hits me almost like I've run into a hailstorm and everything passionately attacks me. Wait a minute. It's not like hail at all. It's way more intense than that. Because as I said, it's like nothing I've ever even experienced before. It's out of this world. And so no, it's not hail. It's an, an asteroid storm. And all of these pieces from outer space, these minuscule pieces from other planets are infiltrating my meager earthly existence. And sometimes there's only so much of this planet I could take. So if you can make me feel so otherworldly because of your essence, I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> Short piece for you for that one, for the end of that one. I think John was pointing his finger at something. Did he want to share something? Yes, well, darling? No, 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 I just thought that was a a oh, great ending, John. Oh, thank you very Are much. You it was, it was. And, it seemed, and I'm oh, sorry oh. That and everyone's talking. And I'm it, sorry if I interrupted, but my neighbor was talking to me. I, I if heard I made it. any noise during your appointment, I'm sorry. I hear that. I'm like, I'll just stop. And when their conversation is done, then I'll continue. <laughs> sorry, with it. Totally I'm fine. Sorry. Totally so fine. We're going to come to your neighbor's house, Louise. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're going to hunt them there. down. Bum, bum, bum. No, no, no. no. Just five yards away. So. <laughs> well, anyway, I just thought it find three pieces from this one, and it seemed appropriate lockdowns over in the statute. Like, I'm breaking free, anywho. But I hope everyone has enjoyed Who themselves. The I have enjoyed all of the new voices, all of the regulars. You guys are all triple plus awesome. And I want to thank you for sharing this Labor Day special of Poetic License. Where's my sign? Oh, I can't pick it up. Forget it. <laughs> so thank you for sharing Poetic License with me, and I hope I will see each and every one of you, and more, and for more countries, and for wherever and share your work with us because we love to hear it on the first Sunday of every month from 3.30 uh, to 5.30 Central Standard Time. For New Yorkers like John, that would be 4.30 to 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Anywho, thank you all so very much. Uh, you guys are excellent, cool, and um, stay safe. We've all hopefully been vaccinated our brains out here and stay safe and stay strong, stay poetically inclined. And I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you all again so very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to point at each one of you. Thank 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 you.